M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Uniden BCT15X Scanner. Let's talk about quick keys. So you've got one, four, zero here at the bottom, okay? And it's scanning and scan, you just press search. It's scanning through groups of favorites that we've got in here. Favorites are basically groups of channels. So if we press the menu button, like so, program system, press silver for enter or the actual enter. And then you can see the, the groups we've got. And within these groups are lots of frequencies. As you can see, we've got quite a few. Let's go to the Marine channel and then we'll press enter. And we've got the chance here to edit system. So we'll click down, edit system, then we'll go enter. Now let's see if there's a quick key assigned. Press enter and see if there's, there's no quick key assigned. If we turn down, let's go to number eight. Okay, remember number eight, we're gonna go enter. And then we'll back out completely by going menu or just pressing scan and it starts to scan. And now look, we've got eight here and we are scanning marine channels. Now it will just scan, you know, if the squelch is low, good antenna, it will scan, okay, until it finds something. And then the other numbers are other groups or favorites that you've got. Eventually it'll get round to marine channels. Now, if we press number eight, look, it's just turned off marine channels. So now it's a very quick way of removing a whole group of frequencies. You know, it could be a hundred frequencies. And then when you feel like it, you can go eight and bring it back. So let's do another one just so we know. So we go menu, we can press hold if we want. We'll go menu. Then we've got program system. Let's go to a different group. We'll scroll down to a different favorite list. So we've got one here called, let's go to amateur radio. Then we'll go enter. Click one down to edit system. And we've got set quick key. We'll go enter. All right, looks like there's already a four set there. So that one's done, that's no problem. Let's go back and We'll have a quick look at what they call a group key. So we go back one, back again. This time we'll go edit group, we'll go enter. And then you've got simplex frequency, new group, let's enter. Set a quick key, let's go enter. And let's set a group key of five. And then we'll back out completely. See what happens now starts to scan, let's push the silver button. See if we can that, bring that group key in. 0.5, it's not gonna let me, is it? No, that's completely wrong. So we'll go back to scanner. Let's try a different one. We'll go menu, program system, Choose this, let's choose this one, the quick save. See, there's a group key for that one. Enter, down one, edit system option, set quick key, and there isn't one. Let's do number nine. And it will tell you if you've already got one. We've done that. And you've got one here where you actually can have a startup key. So if you set a startup key, enter, say number one, enter. When it's turning on, if you push number one, it will, it will start that one up. So let's exit. Go back to scanning. And look, we've got number nine now. So when it gets to number nine, as it scans, there you are. Quick save menu is now nine, but we can turn that off like so. So, you know, I am learning as you can tell, but that gives you an idea of what the quick keys do. It's, it's a quick way of turning off hundreds of channels rather than having to go into the menu ETC. But remember you, you, you do sort of have to remember the numbers, but you do and you don't because you can see it because as it scans through the title of that group of frequencies, you're going to see the number. Now, there is a new one, which I didn't quite get right there, where you could actually assign groups as well, look, group numbers as well. But that's a new learning curve. Thanks for watching my channel, 73. Please like and subscribe. Bye for now.